According to our current understanding, the Big Bang marked the beginning of literally everything, time, space, matter, and energy. This foundational moment, occurring approximately 13.8 billion years ago, represents the birth of the universe as we know it. But what if that's not entirely true? What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, but merely a transitional moment in a far greater, eternal cosmic cycle? And what if, this might sound truly mind-bending, we are living in a mirror universe, one that exists as the reflection of another cosmos that came before the Big Bang? As strange as it sounds, this idea forms the core of a fascinating, and surprisingly credible, theory in modern cosmology. Though it may seem outlandish at first glance, this concept may hold the key to solving some of the biggest unanswered mysteries of the cosmos. The Big Bang theory has long been considered untouchable. It posits that the entire universe emerged from a singularity, a point of infinite density and heat, before undergoing rapid expansion. Time, space, and matter all came into existence from this singular event. However, as widely accepted as this theory is, it still leaves us with several giant question marks. What exactly triggered the Big Bang? Why is matter and radiation so evenly spread across the universe? And why does matter dominate antimatter? These gaps in our understanding have led many physicists to revisit the foundations of our cosmological models. Could it really be true that there was absolutely nothing before the Big Bang? Or have we misunderstood the event entirely, mistaking a transition for a beginning? The late Stephen Hawking took a strong stance on this. According to him, time itself began with the Big Bang, making it meaningless to ask what came before. In his words, asking what preceded the Big Bang is like asking what lies south of the South Pole. But not all scientists agree with this boundary-based view. One particularly stubborn problem with the traditional Big Bang model is the cosmic homogeneity we observe. When we look in every direction, across vast distances, we see roughly the same distribution of galaxies, radiation, and matter. This seems too uniform to be coincidental. The theory of cosmic inflation was introduced to explain this, suggesting that the universe expanded at an exponential rate within a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. Yet, the inflation model is not without its controversies. Not everyone agrees that it actually happened, and it opens up even bigger questions, like whether inflation could have given rise to a multiverse of parallel universes. What if, instead of a sudden creation from nothing, the Big Bang was just a single moment in a continuous cycle? This brings us to the idea of the cyclic universe, or as it's often called, the Big Bounce. Surprisingly, this is not a new concept. Even Einstein considered a cyclic universe to be a plausible alternative. Russian mathematician Alexander Friedman used Einstein's equations to suggest that the universe's expansion could one day reverse, leading to contraction and collapse, followed by another expansion. If this is true, the universe undergoes an eternal pattern of expansion, contraction, and rebirth. Each cycle wipes the slate clean, starting anew. Such a scenario solves several key problems. First, it removes the need for a singularity at the beginning of time. Matter and energy would always have existed in some form, cycling through phases of compression and expansion. Second, the contraction phase before the Big Bang could help explain why our current universe is so uniform, everything would have been smoothed out before the bounce. Third, the need for a mysterious initial cause of creation is eliminated. The trigger for each new Big Bang is simply the natural end of the previous universe. However, this elegant theory hits a wall when it comes to entropy, the tendency of systems to evolve into disorder. According to the second law of thermodynamics, entropy in a closed system, like the universe, can only increase over time. That means each new cycle of the universe would begin with slightly more disorder than the last. Eventually, the universe would reach maximum entropy, a state in which no structures, no stars, galaxies, or atoms, can exist. Not only that, but with each bounce, the contraction phase would crush more disorder into an increasingly dense state, while the subsequent expansion would spread that disorder even further. This suggests that every cycle would last longer than the one before it. If we look backward in time, the cycles get shorter and shorter, 
until we end up back at a kind of singularity again. We're right back where we started. But physicists have begun to explore ways to overcome this entropy issue, and one of the most promising approaches lies in a theory known as loop quantum gravity. According to loop quantum gravity, the fabric of spacetime is not continuous but is made up of tiny, indivisible loops. Think of the universe as a net, where each loop is a node in an intricate, ever-changing structure. These loops form the scaffolding of the universe. Because loop quantum gravity only allows for finite values, it rules out the existence of a singularity with infinite density. Here's where it gets even more fascinating, this model predicts that, at the point where the Big Bang should occur, gravity reverses. Instead of pulling everything inward, gravity suddenly becomes repulsive and pushes everything outward. The result? Space itself turns inside out. This leads to a remarkable consequence, the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything, it was simply a bounce. The universe before it collapsed inward until quantum effects caused gravity to reverse, resulting in a new phase of expansion. And because this model resets entropy, the new universe begins fresh, unburdened by the chaos of the previous one. But what if there's more to the story? What if our universe has a mirror twin, a cosmic reflection where time flows in the opposite direction? A team of physicists at the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Canada, led by Neil Turok, explored this possibility by applying a fundamental principle from particle physics to the entire universe, CPT symmetry. According to this principle, the laws of physics remain unchanged if three things are reversed simultaneously, charge, particles swapped for antiparticles, parity, spatial coordinates flipped, and time, reversed flow. So what if CPT symmetry doesn't just apply to particles, but to the universe as a whole? Then the Big Bang could be seen not as the beginning of everything, but as the central dividing point between two symmetric universes. One where time moves forward, our universe, and one where time moves backward, its mirror image. In this scenario, every particle in our universe has a mirror counterpart in the other, and every interaction happens in reverse. Together, the two universes fulfill the requirements of CPT symmetry, something our universe alone cannot do. And that could explain one of cosmology's most baffling mysteries, why matter dominates over antimatter. According to Turok, while our universe contains slightly more matter than antimatter, the mirror universe contains slightly more antimatter than matter. Symmetry is restored, across both universes. Another advantage of the mirror model is that it removes the need for cosmic inflation. If our universe is mirrored across the Big Bang, the distribution of matter and radiation can be naturally explained without invoking an ultra-rapid expansion. In this view, the Big Bang is simply the point of reflection between two universes governed by symmetrical, yet opposite, laws of physics. Of course, a theory this bold raises a final, inevitable question, can we ever prove it? The sobering answer is, probably not directly. The mirror universe, if it exists, is forever out of reach. But indirect clues may still emerge. For example, if one of the neutrinos, those ghost-like particles, turns out to be massless, or if neutrinos are discovered to be major antiparticles, particles that are their own antiparticles, it would strongly support the mirror universe theory. Similarly, if searches for primordial gravitational waves continue to fail, that too might lend weight to the mirror model, since these waves are a predicted outcome of cosmic inflation, which this theory bypasses. In the end, the idea of a mirror universe doesn't just satisfy our scientific curiosity, it reshapes our very place in existence. It challenges the notion that we are living in a singular, isolated reality and opens the door to a universe that is far grander, more complex, and infinitely more mysterious than we ever imagined. Keep exploring the universe with us, only on Space Lab.